Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Dev Wednesday. It's Claire. Today we are going to talk about one of the essential HTML elements I talked about in my HTML basics video, and that is our A tag. And this stands for anchor tag. It contains a link to another page or even another area on the same page. And this is one that I feel like is important to learn right at the beginning when you're learning to code because it's going to be used so frequently and it's such an integral part of a website and how we navigate between web pages and even on the same site. All right, so the anatomy of an A tag is just at the basic level looks just like this. Here we have the opening of the tag and then this is the href attribute and we close it over here. But the href attribute stands for hypertext reference and right here you were just telling the browser, hey, this is the link. This is where you're gonna go. So for example, if we were gonna send our user, you know, when they click on it to Google, you just put that right in between those double quotes. That is your hypertext reference. And over here between the opening and closing tags is actually the text that the user sees. So it's the text that looks like the link and it, typically it's underlined in blue or however it's been styled. But if we were gonna send our user to google.com, you'd probably just say, you know, Google it or something like that. So we're gonna try this. And I've put together just a super basic fun fact website that we're gonna use. So if we were to open our site, it looks just like this. It's just, did you know, the capital of New York is Albany. Don't believe me, Google it. And this is what we're going to make into our link. So if we go back into our text editor here, this is the text that the user sees that we're gonna turn into a link. So I'm just gonna put my opening A tag. See, it closed it for me already. So I can remove this and I'm gonna put it between the opening and closing tag so we still see it. And before we even retry, refresh the page, I'm gonna put in my href right here and brackets will close it for me again. And I'm just gonna put in exactly what was in our presentation over there, www.google.com. Save that. If we go back to Chrome and refresh, now our Google it is a link. And if we click on that link, it's gonna send us to Google. Another thing that you can do with um, with the A tag is do links internally to the site. And this is useful for navigation links where you're not going to an external site, but you are jumping to a different page. So I'm gonna put a couple of these in here and it'll finish it for me. So I don't need to remember that later. So let's do another fact and yet another fact and our final fact. And what you would put in the reference for these is if you go back to our folder, we can go right to these other files that we have because there aren't any other folders in this site, it's gonna be very simple. So to get to another, all we have to do is another dot, look, it's even prompting me because it knows what's in this folder for me. I'm sending that one to that page. This link I'm gonna send to yet another fact and for our last one pretty straightforward if we save this go back to our home page ooh yuck this is ugly let me fix this with a little break i guess you're getting a bonus element in here br just gives a line break i probably should have done like a list and ordered the list for this because it would break it on its own but for our purposes today we're just going to do this Refresh our page, see, now they're on another line. If I pick another fact, it's gonna send me to another fun fact page. Yet another goes to this one. Final fact goes to this page. And as long as these files are in the same folder, it'll send them. So anyway, that's just a super basic introduction to our A tag. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.